Yaakov Avinu, as he's approaching Esav, he goes back to retrieve some lost items, some lost jugs, pachem ketanim. Vayivaser Yaakov levadoi. Yaakov remained alone. And a man wrestled with him until morning. Chazal tells us this man was the archangel of Esav, the Saroy Shal Esav, the Samach Mem Aleph Lamed, known as the Samach Mem. The Yetzar Hara, the Satan, comes to wrestle Yaakov and he strikes Yaakov and he, he's trying to destroy Yaakov. Chavetz Chaim observed that this is a unique occasion. We don't ever find that the Satan came, that the Yitzhar came to destroy Avraham, or that the Samachmem came to destroy Yitzchak. Why Yaakov? Why don't we find that the Samachmem, the force of evil, came to eradicate Avraham or Yitzchak? Why only Yaakov Avinu? And the Chafetz Chaim taught that from here we learn a very great principle. Avraham was the paragon, the Semel, the representation of the Midah of Chesed. The Yitzhahara, the Samach Mem, does not like Chesed, but he could tolerate it, he'll swallow it, he'll let it slide. And he does not attempt to destroy Avram Avinu. Yitzchak represents Gevura, Midas Hadin, Tefillah, Avoida. The Yitzhahara does not like davening, Avoida, but he could swallow it. However, Yaakov Avinu is the Semel, the representation, the embodiment of Torah. Yaakov is the Ishtam Yoshev Ayhalem. Yaakov Avinu represents Torah. And Torah is something the Yitzhahara and the Samach Mem cannot tolerate, he cannot stand because he knows Torah is the antidote, if you may, the kryptonite of the Yitzhahara. Torah destroys the Yitzhahara. As the Gemara says in Kedushin, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Barasi Yitzhahara, I created the evil inclination. Barasi loy Torah tavlin, and I created the Torah as its antidote. And therefore the Yitzhahara understands that there's no room for the two of us. We cannot coexist. And the Yitzhahara exerts all of his emphasis and effort to destroy Yaakov Avinu because he knows that Torah is the destruction of the force of evil in this world. As important as Chesed is, as important as Tefillah is, they are not the dagger in the heart of the Yitzhahara. It's Torah Tavlin. Torah is a medication. As Ramchal explains in the Mesilah Sisharim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the master doctor. Imagine if a doctor said to someone, my patient, you have the following malady, but here's the remedy. What if somebody would try an alternative manner of healing? That would be ridiculous. The master doctor told you, this is the malady, this is the medication you need to take. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the master doctor. He told us about the malady. The malady is the Yitzhahara. But he also gave us the medication. We cannot try any other remedy. Rebbe Hashem has told us, Barasi Yitzhahara, Barasi Loi Torah Tavlin. The Ramchal so beautifully writes in his compendium, Derech Yitzchayim, Limo Torasenu Huli Yitzhahara, the learning of Torah is for the evil inclination. And the forces of evil in the world, Sam Hamavas, poison. Torah is poison to the Yetzirah. But Ula'achenu Beis Yisrael, but to our brethren, to the Jewish people, who Sam HaChayim. The Torah is the elixir of life. The Torah is an Eitz Chayim. It's a tree of life. But Lama Chazikama, to those who grab a hold of it with all of their energy. And therefore the Yitzhahara tries to destroy not Avraham Avinu, not Yitzchak Avinu, but Yaakov Avinu. And if the Yitzhahara is out to destroy Yaakov Avinu, that should give us insight into the fundamental importance of Limad HaTorah. That it is the source of all blessing and all security from spiritual danger, and it is the source of all blessing of material nature. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu grant us Yat HaDashmaya to embrace the Torah with all of our energy and thereby will be Zoycha to the blessings of the Torah. Oyrech Yom and Vimina, long life on its right side, Usamoyla and on its left, Oyshe Bechabayt, wealth and honor. Wishing everyone a wonderful week.